Okay, welcome back guys. So uh, while I was recording, it kind of crashed. So if now it's then kind of crashed, so but I took a screenshot of what actually did. So I already I already added coin modifier to this. So if I come in here, let's just add another new coin modifier. Then if you do like an update, I think in here. I need to bring this I need to bring that on top. So here is a screenshot of what I actually did in here. So I'm just going to input this value. I'm going to start from input the value from the lower part. So let's use let's just type in the values in the round open brackets 0 0.1 comma 0 0.5 close brackets here so randomizing the radius of this so you shouldn't, you shouldn't be pulling the air with so much <clears throat> The, scaling this you shouldn't, shouldn't be scaling the hair outward way too much as you can see something like this okay but there's a few things we also need to randomize in here so let me let me start by taking this down this comes down so somewhere around here should be fine That would be affecting the roots way, way too much. Taking quite a lot of time to load up. Okay, so let's copy this, paste this on here. So for this, I'm using a value of 0.5. 0.5 to 2. Just a moment to load. Okay. Okay, that seems fine. I think we need to reduce the scale. Around here. Take this down a bit more. It's taking quite a lot of time to load up. Probably because we have just too many hairs in here. Then lastly the marks for this so I don't want to be I don't want to affect the entire thing so I want it to affect or random or kind of randomize the effector on this from a value of 0 0.4 to a value of 0 Right. Okay. Mm, let me try somewhere around zero point seven to zero point nine. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, this should be fine. So, I think this should be fine for now. If there's any need to go back in there, or can always go back. But for now, let's leave this as it is. 
So let's work on the ears for the other parts. This for the beard. Let's work on the ears for the beard. This all the way around the ear, down to the neck. Okay, so I'm going to hide this for now. Reveal this, this scalp again. Select this scalp. Then we need to create a new description for it. Let me do a quick save. Do a quick save. Let me go hide this for now so we can work a bit faster in here. Right, so I would um, come to description, create new description. Oh, select this cup first, very important. Then create new description. So we still want this to be under the head collection. Then we'll just name this to beard. Use all caps for this beard. Underscore description D I S C beard underscore hair underscore description. Okay. So we want the description to be in this area collection. Spline, random lacrosse surface, listener shipping guide. Click on create. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay. Okay, let me just create a guide. We just want guide to start with. Then add another one here. Then I'll go to the top uh, description. I'll turn off automatic preview on this. of auto preview updates preview automatically turn that off and hide the hairs then go back to the second description let's continue working on this okay so middle mouse drag that out then let's go to the side view if you use this, let's go to the other view. Probably layer left side. And let's keep adding. So more or less like trying to create the block out for this. So more or less just creating block out for this okay okay yeah this should be fine then I would okay. Let's do some more around the air. Okay, select all of this. See, we can let's put this to 100. Um, length for this. Oh, 0 0.01 let's use 6 instead and you, you should be 0 0.71 then 0 0.76 hope that is correct so let me just do a quick save and try and confirm okay 
let me confirm this just to be sure um okay should be under the, under these notes it's okay 0 0.7 okay okay correct I think I have to most if it comes let's just put this to 50. So select all the guides. Click on rebuild. I'll put this on it. Okay. Scale them out like so to begin with. Then I'll begin to adjust it individually. Okay. Okay. Directionality is, is, let me see, I think we should do, use this instead. Directionality. Do this like so. We should begin to bend downwards some more. some S shape to it. Okay, this is down. Trying to be bending downwards. You want to check this on pretty much all of you just to make sure. We're getting accurate directions for this. Okay. Like so, okay. So let this piece let this down some more. Let an S shape to it. Then this no mm, last way too much. Get an S curve like so. Get this pop. Okay. Like so. Select this. This one shouldn't even be this long. Shouldn't even be this long. This 
So I'm going to scale this, scale it in some more, like so. Now these ones are pretty, so not really pretty long. Okay. We'll add some more, a bit more later. Let's give this out a bit more. Bend this down, put this in this direction. I think to make things a bit faster, I can copy, select this, paste, paste, paste. I think I can paste this on here also. Maybe make some modifications to this, bring this closer to the skin. Okay. This piece not entirely sure. Let me just put this down. Okay. Let me generate some maze out of this. Let's see what we have. Okay. Increase the no wrong one. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Come on. This leg is about to crash. Did not crash. Ooh, awesome. Let me quick save. Supposed to increase the density instead. Come back to outputs. Turn this off. Let me use this. Can we, can we get an idea of direction for this? Take this down some more. Okay, figure out the length for this. Okay, I think we're in a good place. Maybe extend some of this out a bit more. Okay. Turn this off. Let's create interpolations in between them so one coming like in between think so something like this should work A bit more here. Okay. Maybe some one around here. 
let's bring this out further out that's a bit too much so one two three around here do a quick save okay think we can think we can safely mirror this to the other side then create new ones around the year right let's generate some hairs out of this okay so now what we need to do now is to paint density marks for this let's paint some density marks for this okay so i'll hide the hairs for now Come in here, create map, put this to 50, put this to full black. This should be beard underscore D and D and S underscore marks. Okay, black creates. Okay, then wireframe on shaded double click on this should be on solid brush painting full white on that stroke wants to kind of mirror to the other side and let's start with a smaller brush size for this okay Uh, let's start painting. Let me start painting from around here. Okay. This is something something like around here. So it looks a bit dull on this side. So connecting that, Spread the brush size a bit more. Uh, I feel like I'm. I think I feel like I went overboard on this part. I feel like I went overboard on this part. Okay, let me just leave it for now. Let's see. Let me leave it for now. Let's fill this part up. Fantastic. Notice I'm not trying to be extremely precise in there. 
can see some patchiness in there. I'll click save. I'll save this. The UI is not saving. So we're actually saving because this is not on auto update. So let's set that to auto update. Turn this. Okay. Double click on this. Assign material. Assign material. Save texture. Come back here. Let's hide the guides for now. See what we have. Okay, let me increase this a bit more. Okay. I'll hide the edge for now. I'll go back to the paint. I want to blow out the edge. So I'll select blow. Drag this all the way up. Let's start blowing out the edge. I think I'll need a bigger brush size for this. So we get a better or smoother transition around it. Save this. So now I just need to figure out the length. See if I can figure out the length for this. We'll take this down some more. Trying to figure out the length. You can generally reduce the length in here, so let's just put in one in there. Okay, so you should be fine. So in the next lesson, we'll carry on by adding modifiers and then playing with it to see what we have. And then blend that with the other shape around the entire body, with other hairs also on the at the top of his head. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.